Hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'll show you how you can transfer shape keys from one mesh to another by using a open source uh, add-on called Shape Key Transfer. And the purpose or point of Shape Keys is actually uh, being used when it comes to facial um, facial movement, eyebrows raising, nose uh, squinting puffy uh, cheeks, so on and so forth. And this add-on is open source is free. I'll put a link of it in the description below this video. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple to use. Uh, now in this example that I have here right now, we have an image or a mesh from Make Human that I've downloaded and another uh, mesh from Manuel Bestoni Labs. And in the first mesh, you can see the shape keys or here. And let's click on our second mesh and there are no shape keys uh, when you click on the first one uh, the shape keys that are here I've uh, eliminated a lot of them uh, due to the fact that with this add-on uh, it's not a good idea to transfer a lot of shape keys from one mesh to the other because it can shut down blender and freeze up pretty bad and also the second point to that is when it comes to transferring shape keys, it does a pretty good job at doing it, but for some shape keys that are extreme, it actually doesn't do a good job at all. But I'll, I'll give an example of that with the mouth open shape key here. So let me show you what the add-on looks like. Go to the, uh, once you've installed it in your preferences add-on, I'll leave a link of, because I've done a tutorial on that. And I'll leave a link of the description of that also, or a link of it in the description below this video also but once you've installed the add-on it's pretty straightforward pretty simple it's uh, nothing hard to understand at all at all in the first slide you have the source of your uh, shape keys uh, that's at the top and in the second slot you have the destination which you which is the mesh you want the shape keys to be transferred to now what you have to do is click on this eyedropper and then click on your uh, mesh that has the shape keys already applied to it. And now you're going to do the same thing with the second uh, mesh that has no shape keys at all. Click on the eyedropper and click on your mesh. And once you've done that, you're going to click on transfer shape keys. Uh, now I'm going to do this because it could take some time for it to actually transfer. So what I'll do is I'll stop the video after I've clicked it. I'll stop the video and show you the results of the uh, act or of the activation or the use of this uh, add-on. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. And yes, we're back. If my voice sounds a little bit different, that's because I'm recording in the morning now, as opposed to uh, what we did the night before. And my software kept shutting down, so I have to had to restart it again and again. So now I'm recording a little bit later. But yeah, we've already transferred the shape keys over from this mesh to this. And let's see how well it's done. Let's go with the eyebrows first on the original mesh, which is this one. And the eyebrows, that works. Let's go to the one we transfer the shape keys to. That also works. Now, if the, if the quality looks kind of low, it's because I've, I've got on the... Uh, Simplify in Blender, which makes it easier to navigate. It reduces the um, mesh count in the preview window so you can have a smoother transition when you work inside of Blender. But the eyebrows work great. Let's go back to this one. Let's do the right one. That works great too. The when we transfer the, the shape keys to, that also works great. So as I said earlier, be selective in, in terms of which shape keys you want to transfer over to your mesh because sometimes the shape keys don't transfer over that well and an example of that is the mouth. Uh, let's click on the mouth for this uh, original character here. I'm going to go back down to the mouth here and click on that and the mouth works somewhat. I mean, if you, you know, pull it up too high, the value up too high it goes a little bit over the uh, top lip. But for the most part on the original mesh, the mouth works fine. Now, the mouth on this character was closed, so let's see how the shape key transferred over to this. 
and as you can see it didn't transfer over well at all so just be careful and cautious of how you transfer your shape keys over because sometimes with the eyes they work great the nose the cheeks and with the mouth the shape key you want to transfer over when it comes to the mouth make sure that the mouth on your character that you want to transfer the shape keys over to make sure that that mouth is open that way the shape keys have a better chance of transferring properly over to your new mesh but uh, that's today's quick tip and um, once again hope this was helpful to someone and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one all right bye